just go with tails. Would you like to kick or receive the Bible? I will receive. Tom wins the toss, chooses to receive the Bible. Patterson back with the kick. Oh my goodness! Oh. Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ. As you saw that clip, um, I, I mean, I had to post that clip um, because, you know, I, I just, it's almost, un it's almost unbelievable. Watching um, this clip, honestly, it, it upset me. And upset is, is actually putting it gently. There are some things that even the ungodly would not dare do. And yet this pastor, someone who knows better, or at least you would think they know better, actually took their foot and kicked the Bible, punted the Bible. You saw it. I had to um, add this to my video because it's almost unbelievable. So you had to see it with your own eyes. This is beyond disrespectful to God and to the body of Christ. You know, I just don't understand that no one thought that maybe, maybe we shouldn't do this. How did any of them think that this was a good idea? You know, if we do, if you do not believe that we are that we're living in the last hour of our Lord's return, then maybe maybe you're blind or or, or more mistaken or something because um, this is the word of God, and this woman, you know with seemingly no second thought punted the Bible. The Bible is a sacred text. It's holy and should be treated with respect and handled with care. You know, do you know there's a video out there where a church caught on fire and was burned to the ground? I mean, completely burned to the ground and everything in the church was burnt completely to ashes except for the Bibles that were in that church. They were not damaged at all. And I think I will do a, a separate video on that so that we can understand that the Bible is a sacred, holy text. That by, The Bibles were not burned up and yet everything else was burnt to ashes. This should tell us something about the sacredness of the Word of God. The Bible is holy and sacred and should be treated as such. And you would think that the leadership of a mega church would know this. We are definitely living in the last days. But even so, come, Lord Jesus. Thank you and have a blessed day.